It is day 36, and one thing that we're not going to do is gatekeep info and make it so that it's hard for people to break through and actually do the stuff, like making videos, making music. So today, I am going to show you how to make more with less. Less being like broke college student less, because I had to learn that the hard way, and I had to learn how to make music and make videos and do all this stuff without much of that. So. We're gonna go through a list. Number one for just getting started is the mini PC. So I know I showed y'all this in my setup video earlier, but this thing is like very cheap. I got a great condition one for $120 at Trade It, uh, which is like a buy sell type swap shop type of thing. And this is worth it because I can do a lot of what I could do with like, a laptop or anything else with this system. So if you get something like that, then you'll be able to actually work on your music and have a system that can do it. So starting out with the system, you could get that $120. You could also go online and find used Lenovo ThinkPads, things like that on eBay, on Amazon, and you can get them refurbished. So there's places to get computers for less if you're looking for a cheaper computer. Now, with these systems, are you going to be playing, you know, Call of Duty 48? Probably not. But I can play games on this mini PC. I can like make music on this mini PC. I can edit videos on this mini PC and I can get it done pretty well. It has pretty good specs and it's solid. So that was one thing I would start with. Another one for content creation is the ring light and the tripod. So I got a tripod from Best Buy for like $20 and it's the one that like wraps around. It's also really easy to pick up so I can like pick up the tripod and move it around like so. Look at that, very portable. I look for the portability and everything. So that's one way to do it. Now, another thing is the ring light. That ring light was $20, I think at Best Buy, $22. And that's also pretty cheap. Monitors, you can also get pretty cheap. Uh, you can find them on th places like Facebook Marketplace. You can find them at like pawn shops or traded shops. You can typically get monitors for anywhere from $30 and below. If you check the right places like Facebook Marketplace, uh, you can find monitors. So to go along with your mini PC, you can get that. You can also, if you have a refurbished laptop, you don't need to get a monitor, you can, uh, but you don't have to. So there's that part as well. So you can start out making that. From the music standpoint, a good one to start with is FL Studio Mobile. I talk about it. I will never talk badly about it. It gets the job done. It's $30 on the Microsoft Store. And if you buy all the plugins and add-ons, it's like an extra $7. So in total, you're gonna spend like $37 for like a system that can handle making music. As you can see with FL Studio Mobile, I've made songs like this. It works. Now, that's a good place to start because you don't have to spend hundreds of dollars on a DAW or try and do illegal activities to get a DAW. So you can use that to make music. You can use FL Studio to create songs. It, it works. Uh, so I use FL Studio Mobile. I have for a long time. I've tried other ones. I did music production in college and I did other things. So I did use things like Ableton, like Pro Tools. I tried different stuff. I use different things. I just typically kind of go back to that. Um, but there are other ones that are free that you can try. Uh, so Band Lab is one, but starting out in FL Studio Mobile, you can get pretty far using that system. And in terms of making album art, you can take pictures with your phone. I tend to take pictures. I know some people pay for pictures, some people draw themselves, so that's one place to go. But in terms of making my own art, I tend to take my own pictures and then I use a program called photomosh.com and I actually use that for like making video glitching and, and images that make like a like reels for my Spotify. You know how you can put an image that is moving in the background. I will do that and then like a GIF basically and I'll put it on my Spotify and then I'll take a still from that 
and make my album art. So then I have a two part situation I can use and kind of glitch it out and make it a little distorted and like kind of fit the vibe of what I want the song to look like for the album art. So I'll use photomosh.com. It's very solid, it's free. You can add images, you can add videos and you glitch them out, distort them and kind of make them your own. So that's another system that I use. Now, last but not least, headphones. You need sound, you need headphones. You need Oh my. All right, so last we have headphones. You need monitors, you need headphones. And when I mean monitors, I mean studio monitors, like to hear, um, or headphones. So monitors are expensive. I know people get like the KRK Rockets and other stuff. I did not get those. Uh, to mix, I found it perfectly fine to use my Audio Technicas. And I practice what I preach because I've had these headphones for over seven years now. And you can see like the leather's cracked a good bit, but they work perfectly fine. The Audio Technicas are always strong. And once you make that one time investment into them, you if you use them and you're not like breaking them, then they're gonna work. I have the ATH M20Xs and I've used these for literally years and they're great for mixing. They're studio headphones. They have studio jack like uh, adapters so that you can use them other than the 3.5 millimeter end. So they're perfect. They work really well. They look pretty decent. They fit well. I've used them for a long time and they are great studio headphones. So if you're looking for one that's a little cheaper, but has great sound, the Audio Technicas are great. I think I spent $70 on these seven years ago. Now it might change a little bit because of in inflation and pain and suffering. But other than that, it will be pretty cheap. So in total, I believe the setup is under 500. I mean, under $500 and I put the number right here. So you can make more with less and you can build that, that set over time of things that you need. And you know, you can always upgrade these things over time, but if you want to get started and you feel discouraged, this is the way to do it. I know many people have a computer and many people have a phone, but I'm not going to sit and make the assumption that you have these things. So getting a computer, that mini PC maybe, or refurbished laptop, going the route of getting the cheaper end of things, just to make sure that they, the solid things that work, but making sure that you're starting out with that small investment and moving on over time, because you can make more with less and have spent a lot of time trying to figure that out. So I'm sharing that with you. I hope you've had a good day and I'll see you tomorrow.